Hi, welcome back to Philly Changer Chats. I'm Mo, and I'm here with Julie Hancher from Green Philly Blog. Thanks for coming, Julie. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. So, uh, so in 30 seconds, just to give people who do not know yet uh, what Green Philly Blog is, what are you all about? Sure. Green Philly Blog is an online website that helps basically Philadelphians reach a healthy shade of green, would you like to say? <laughs> I love that. Thanks. So basically it's a mixture of news and events and as well as different companies and stuff going on in the city and basically all around the topic of sustainability. Okay, cool. So you recently uh, went full time mm -hmm. in this endeavor. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that. Like why, what, what made you get involved? And, you know, like, why do you make this leap? Sure. So I've been running Green Philly blog for about seven years now. And basically, I was obsessed with it and couldn't stop writing, <laughs> and, you know, learning more yeah. about sustainability and really involved in the community. And there are a couple of factors. One is that it's hard to monetize a website just in general yeah. for, you know, and to make a living off of it. Yes, absolutely. So in order to do that, I decided to make a sister company called Green Philly Company. And I was basically doing social media and digital marketing for the past seven or eight years. Okay. And when I was talking to people in the sustainability community, they'd ask me what I do, assuming that Green Philly was my full-time job. <laughs> and you know, once I started talking about social media and marketing, they realized, oh, I realized that A, they had a need for it, and B, that I could help people who were doing good in the world in a different manner. So basically, I wanted to um, combine my passion for sustainability and helping people who are doing good in the world. Mm -hmm. So I had to try to focus on companies that were doing good by helping them with digital marketing and social media. Okay, great. Yeah. So this has been, you said, seven years mm -hmm. that you've been doing the blog and uh, like kind of all those related activities. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, talk about what, how that's impacted you. Um, how have you seen like this kind of scene grow? Mm -hmm. um, can you tell a specific story about something that meant a lot to you as you've been doing this? Sure, that's a great question. So I actually started the website with my coworker in 2008 because we had this huge discovery that our employer was taking our trash cans or our recycling. Or sorry. Our employer was taking our recycling bins and putting them into the trash oh, can. I hate <laughs> that. That is the worst. I've seen that happen so many times. Yeah. So the funny thing is we're like, we're going to do something super active about this. And we sat behind a computer screen and wrote about it, <laughs> <laughs> which looking back on it was pretty passive aggressive. <laughs> but due to that, you know, I think when I first started the website, I just really was thinking of sustainability as what you can recycle. And there's really small things like, like light bulbs. And I think what most people think about was sustainability. Mm -hmm. And then I think after, I was doing so much research and learning, I think it's really your everyday choices between yeah. whether you're, you know, eating food that's from a local provider or across the country, or whether you're buying, you know, your clothes or your jewelry or whoever from local vendors versus national manufacturers. Mm -hmm. And I think really when you think about sustainability, that's the important part, you know, thinking about how to support your local community, keeping, you know, just yeah, keeping that mindset and just thinking that way. Yeah, that's absolutely important. Mm -hmm. Uh, taking, you know, like what does a person's everyday life look like and like how do we integrate these ideals into that daily thing because you can you can uh, go to an event and like support this but if you can make that a part of your life and mm -hmm. every Philadelphian can make that a part of their lives then that makes a humongous difference. Mm -hmm. So and I think the thing, it doesn't have to be super difficult. It shouldn't have to be this major decision. You shouldn't be sitting in the grocery store and looking at labels for hours as sometimes I'm guilty of doing. <laughs> but <laughs> you too. know, and yeah, but it should be easy and it should be something that, you know, it's just, you know, easy and fun because I think then more people get involved and excited about it. We just recently had an election mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, like sustainability and um, like the energy hub, like all these things, these are really big issues, local procurement, you know, supporting mm -hmm. small businesses. Uh, so how do, you, how do you feel about kind of like where the city is going and like what would you like to see in the next couple of years, mm -hmm. government or no? Sure. Um, I guess it's interesting because we actually started the website in 2008, which is mm -hmm. basically when my, Mayor Nutter came out with his Greenworks program, mm -hmm. which is awesome because when we entered the city in, you know, 2007, whatever, there, there really wasn't sustainability, a lot of, you know, green talks. And over the past few years, there's been a huge development, just a number of farmers markets that have exploded and just yeah. the Greenworks plans of buildings and energy and everything else. So I think it'll be great and hopefully, you know, the mayor elect and the next mayor will help us <laughs> for the city with the city of Bali. And I think we're on a really good path. So, and I think too, the bike share program has also been 
an yeah. awesome change recently, right mm -hmm. in time for the election. Yeah, yeah, it's been awesome. Um, can you talk about how you've seen people grow in the city? So, you know, you've been doing this for seven years. Mm -hmm. Are you um, are you seeing more people like interacting with you guys? And I know we, like, we just worked on the uh, Good mm -hmm. Economy Challenge together. Mm -hmm. So um, how are you feeling about, you know, like, people's desire to participate in this conversation. Mm -hmm. I think it's awesome because I think there are a lot more people who are open to it and talking about it on a whole other level. So, you know, I think our we had the Twitter chat with the, the city, city council. council. Yeah. Yes, and mm -hmm. I think that was an awesome example of just getting people who, you know, may not be talking about sustainability on their platforms and asking them those questions. Well, thank you so much for, for coming today. Um, you know, we want this to be like a, a diving board mm -hmm. for everything that is Green Filler Blog and all of our different uh, people that we have on the show. So um, I appreciate your time, and uh, we'll have all your information on the website. Thank so. you. Yeah, it was great. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah.